Congratulations meet with my best friend. Hopefully always healthy everything. Let's now learn history about the Borobudur Temple. What have you been here? Borobudur Temple is a Buddhist temple located in the city of Magaling, central Java province. Borobudur Temple is the largest temple or temple in the world, as well as one of the largest Buddhist monuments in the world. Because of his splendor and majesty, the temple built in the 8th century has been determined by UNESCO as one of World Heritage's World Heritage. Borobudur Temple was built during the administration of Sayalendra dynasty. This shaped stupa was founded by the followers of Mahayana Buddhism during the reign of Wangsa Sayalendra. The history of the establishment of Borobudur Temple was built in the 8th century. The origin of Borobudur Temple was still filled with mystery, about whom the founder of Borobudur Temple and what the original goal of building this temple. Many stories and stories of Borobudur candy are circulating which are now known as local fellow tales. The location of Borobudur Temple Borobudur is located in the city of Magaling, central Java province. The address of the complete Borobudur Temple is on JL. Badrawati, Borobudur, Magaling, central Java. Borobudur Temple location is about 100 km from Semarang, 86 km from Surakarta and 40 km from Diyogyakarta. History of Borobudur Temple How is the history of the establishment of the Borobudur Temple from the past until now? This time it will be discussed about the history of a brief Borobudur temple from the beginning of standing, the discovery and the process of restoration of the temple. The origin of Borobudur temple is a long history in the establishment of Borobudur temple. Until now there are no written evidence that explains who built Borobudur and what the purpose of building this temple. It is estimated that Borobudur Temple was built in 800 AD. The estimated time of the construction of the temple is based on the comparison between the types of scriptways written in the legs covered in Karmawibanga with a type of script that is commonly used in the 8th and 9th century kingdom inscriptions. Borobudur Temple was built during the Kingdom of Sayalendra dynasty in central Java which coincides between a period of 760 to 830 AD. The process of building Borobudur Temple is estimated to spend 75 to 100 years. The new Borobudur Temple was completely completed by 100% during the reign of King Samaratunga in 825 AD. Who builds the founder of Borobudur Temple Borobudur Temple? Until now, who is still unknown who built Borobudur Temple? What is clear is the Borobudur Temple built during the glory of the Sayalendra dynasty. In addition, there was also an obscurity of the Borobudur Temple, what religion, whether Buddhism or Hinduism. It is known that the Sayalendra dynasty is the adherence of Buddhists to the devout Mahayana flow. But based on the findings of Sojomurto inscription shows that initially they might be Hindu Siwa. In the era, there were indeed many Hindu and Buddhist temples built in the Kedu plain. There is also a holy temple Shiwalusi near the Borobudur area which is a Hindu temple. Even so generally agreed to the Borobudur Temple in the relics of the Buddha Kingdom in Indonesia. Borobudur Temple itself was built in almost the same time as the temple in the Prambanan Plain, although Borobudur was completed first around 825 AD. The process of building Borobudur Temple was the beginning of Borobudur Temple was in the form of a single stupa design because the stupas that are too large and heavy are considered to be dangerous, then the stupa is dismantled and replaced into three small stupas and one parent stupa as now the construction. A Borobudur Temple can be divided into four, four stages. The following are the estimated stages of Borobudur's construction. The first stage of the first stage of the construction of the Borobudur Temple is carried out by placing the base of the temple. 
The development period of Borobudur is not known for sure and is expected to begin in 750 AD. Borobudur was built on a natural hill, the upper part of the leveled hill and the flat court expanded. Borobudur is made of andesite stone, but not entirely. The hill part is compacted and closed the stone structure so that it resembles a shell that wraps the land hill. The rest of the hill is closed in layer structure by layer. Initially Borobudur was built with a sufferer level such as the draft pyramid. But the arrangement was changed and instead built the first three steps that closed the original structure of the modified pyramid. The second stage, in the second stage of development is not many development processes. There is only only two square steps, the ledge fence and a circular trip. On it directly built a very large single stupa. The third stage, in the third stage of building a building draft. The travers over circles with large single stupas are dismantled and replaced three circle trucks. Smaller stupas built lined up circling on the courtyard of these loves with a large stupa of the parent in the middle. The foundation of the temple was also rather widened and then the extra legs were built that wrapped the original foot while closing the Karmawibanga relief. Changes in the large stupa due to the stupa are too large and heavy so that three small stupas and one stupa of the parent. The fourth stage, in the fourth stage or the last stage of development is done a little small and finishing. Small changes that include relief improvements, the addition of the outermost ledge fence, changes in ladder and a mold of the door of the door and widening toe. After a small change was complete, the Borobudur Temple was completed. In the end Borobudur Temple is estimated to be completely completed around 850 AD. The discovery of the Borobudur Temple history of the next Borobudur Temple entered the stage of the discovery. Please note that Borobudur Temple was hidden and abandoned for centuries. Borobudur was buried under the layers of soil and volcanic dust which was then overgrown with trees and shrubs so that Borobudur when it really resembled the hill. It is not known why Borobudur was abandoned and left unmaintained. It is estimated that between 928 to 1006 AD when King Mpu Sindok moved the capital city of Medong to the East Java region because the volcanic eruption was a factor why Borobudur was abandoned, even though this was also uncertain. The entry of Islamic Kingdom in the 15th century also made Borobudur more forgotten. Even though there was a story and legend of Borobudur Temple circulating about the glory of this temple in the past. Only in 1814 AD, Borobudur Temple was found again. At that time the island of Java was under the British government led by Thomas Stamford Raffles as the Governor General. Raffles has an interest in Javanese history and culture. When inspection to Semarang, Raffles heard the news of a large monument hidden in the forest near the village of Bumasagoro. He then sent H.C. Cornelius, a Dutch engineer, to investigate the existence of this large building. In two months, Cornelius and 200 subordinates cut down trees and shrubs that grow on Bibobador Hill and clean the soil layer that bury this temple. He reported this finding and sketched Borobudur Temple to Raffles. Raffles was considered to be contributed to the rediscovery of Borobudur Temple and began to attract the world's attention for the existence of this lost monument. Hartman, a Dutch East Indies government official in Keju's residency continued Cornelius's work. In 1835 AD, Finally all parts of the temple building had been explored and can be seen. The Dutch East Indies government assigned F.C. Wilson, an engineer of Dutch officials in the field of engineering to study this monument. After that, research was carried out related to Borobudur Temple by the Dutch East Indies government. Borobudur is increasingly famous to invite the temple collector to visit. Borobudur also had the target of the temple artifact thief for sale. 
In 1882, the head of the cultural artifact inspector suggested that Borobudur be dismantled and the reliefs were transferred to the museum due to unstable conditions, uncertainty and theft that was blooming in the monument. But a archaeologist named Groenbelt appointed by the government held a thorough investigation into the site and then suggested that this building be left intact and not dismantled to be moved. The restoration of the Borobudur Temple history of the establishment of Borobudur Temple continues with the restoration process. In 1900 AD, the Dutch East Indies government took steps to maintain the preservation of this monument. Formed by a commission consisting of three officials to examine this monument consisting of an art historian named Brandis, a Dutch engineer and army named Theodore van Erp and engineer construction of the building of the Ministry of Public Works named van de Kamer. The restoration of the temple is done by paying attention to many things. The things that are done include repairing the drainage system, building angle settings, dangerous stone transfer, strengthening the first ledge fence and restoration of several niches, gates, stupas and main stupas. Another thing that must be added is the making of the temple and regional cleaning page fence. The process of restoration of Borobudur Temple was carried out in the period of 1907 to 1911. After Indonesia's independence, the government had restored several times despite a small scale. In the late 1960s, the Indonesian government has submitted a request to the international community for a massive renovation to protect this monument. The government of Indonesia collaborated with UNESCO to take steps for the overall improvement of the temple in a large project that began in 1975 until 1982. After the renovation, precisely in 1991, UNESCO then included Borobudur Temple into the list of World Heritage Sites and entered the criteria. Now that's an explanation of the brief history of Borobudur Temple and the origin of the Borobudur Temple. At present Borobudur Temple tours are one of the most visited tourist attractions in Indonesia. Borobudur Temple is able to attract local and foreign tourists as one of the famous world cultural heritage. Once this was a brief history of Borobudur Temple which was located in Indonesia, precisely in central Java. If there is an error I'm sorry, don't forget to like it, subscribe and sound notifications, thank you very much.